Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Buddha here, and this is the second video in the new Scrap to Unusual series I'm doing. In this video I'm going to do something a little different. I was editing the trade video from uh, all the trades that I was doing for this episode, and I came to the realization that watching someone scrap bank for 20 minutes is very, very boring. It's like watching paint dry. So in this video, instead of showing you all the trades, I'm just going to show you the trades I did in the inventory history. If you guys really want to see the all the trades that I did, I can put up another video. Just let me know in the comments below if you really want to see all the boring, what I think is boring, um, scrap banking trades. So this is what I left off with in the last episode, about three refined worth of stuff, but as you can see I didn't have many weapons to sell. It's hard to scrap bank if you don't have any weapons to sell, so in the first two or three trades of the uh, second episode I decided to buy a bunch of weapons from people. It was just faster to buy weapons in bulk from players than it was to trade scrap.tf for them. So as you can see right here in the uh, first three trades, I just bought a bunch of weapons from the OWN guys in a server. And if we look up here, the first real trade I had was a guy wanted to buy the classic and the base jumper. Sold it to him for two scrap. Um, next we had a guy wanted the reserve shooter. Sold it to him for a scrap. We had a guy who wanted a uh, fortified compound. He also wanted a reserve shooter, but I just sold it to this guy. So I went to scrap.tf and I traded them for a reserve shooter and uh, La Tranger. I could never pronounce that one right. La Tranger is the best I can get. So I sold uh, the reserve shooter to that guy for a righteous bison and a bizarre bargain. Then I sold the another guy the La Tranger for a scrap. Uh, next we have a guy who wanted a backscatter, so I sold that to him for a scrap. Then we had a guy who wanted a, uh, a sandwich, so I traded scrap.tf for a sandwich, but before I could trade him, another guy traded me. He wanted the direct hit, so I sold that to him for a scrap. And then I finally got to the guy who wanted a sandwich, sold him that for a scrap. And there was a guy who wanted the vaccinator. So, sold that to him. This guy wanted the soda popper, so he sold me one, f or I sold him one for a Razorback and an Eyelander. This guy wanted the Babyface Blaster, so I sold it to him for a Cozy Camper and a Classic. Next there was a guy who wanted spy weapons, so I went to scrap.tf and I bought a bunch of spy weapons, and he decided to buy the Dead Ringer and the Eternal Reward. Next we had a guy who wanted the Criticola, the Bazaar Bargain, and the Cozy Camper. I sold it to him for Reclaimed. And a guy wanted a Crusader's Crossbow, a Flying Guillotine, a Girati, and the Flare Gun. I sold it to him for four scrap. And there was a guy who wanted the Gunslinger, so I bought two Gunslingers from Scrap.tf and sold it to him. And the last trade was the Rescue Ranger. The guy wanted a Rescue Ranger, sold it to him for a scrap. So all of these trades. The first one was at 10.15, and the last one was at 12.15, so this was about two hours of trading. And this is what I ended up with, just under five refined worth of stuff, after I uh, crafted all the weapons back into metal, which is close enough to the five refined goal I had to move on to the next strategy. So no more scrap banking, which is super, super boring for everyone. Like I said, if you guys really want to see the trades, I did record them, so just let me know in the comments below and I can edit up all the actual trades. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do a video on, just let me know. And um, as always, if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot.
Once upon a time, there was a man who did not subscribe to Dr. Buddha's channel, and then he died. Yeah.